track. So I'm Logan Ward. Uh, I'm a system scientist at Argonne, uh, and I've been working with the Parcel team since, really, I started as a postdoc at UChicago about six years ago. What I've been working on lately and what I'm going to talk about today is tools that we've built on top of Parcel to make integrating AI into workflows more, well, easier. And this is a kind of campaign of mine that has gone back about a decade. I found this slide from my uh, PhD candidacy about a decade ago, where we focused on trying to figure out how to avoid running as many computations about materials that are highly impractical to find in this reality, and thereby kind of speed up the calculations, reduce the carbon footprint of it, or whichever kinds of motivations are suitable. So long story short, there should be few reasons that we should still be doing calculations like this, where we run um, all calculations in a brute force manner a decade later. And uh, from another point of view, uh, one way to look at um, kind of the challenges around integrating these AI into workflows is that the application part of your workflow typically doesn't do a whole lot. You might have something that spawns a large numbers of tasks, waits for blocks until they finish, and then reports your findings. And so you've got an application that sits there and does nothing for a long amount of time, while other parts of your workflow application are hard at work. So in short, the kind of application that we're talking about today is how we can take that bit of code on the left and turn it into something smarter. And that's really where Colmena fits into play. So Colmena um, implements kind of a large class of algorithms that are around for um, designing computational campaigns. You've likely heard of the, any, many of these before under the guise of active learning, which is often described as a technique where you run a bunch of calculations, train a machine learning model, pick what's interesting to do next and repeat. Might have heard it under terms of Bayesian optimization. But long way to say there are many different ways and opportunities for integrating AI into an application. And what we've been studying with Colmena is how we can integrate these concepts into a workflow. And the way that I've seen it is there are a couple different ways you can approach this with Parcel. Namely, we already have the Join app, which you can add as part of your workflow that spawns new tasks when other ones complete. And this is a pretty effective uh, process. You're the data flow kernel of Parcel handles all the efforts. You can write simple functions for each of the different types of actions you want to take, like retrain a machine, new machine learning model with this data. And all of that can get run on your behalf. But if, this could run into some challenges. I know thinking about functional programming languages isn't my natural way of working with things. And you can run into some questions about which state can these join apps access? How do I control access over some that might be running at multiple times? So another alternative you might consider is putting a bunch of steering logic in the main.py. And this, I think, is uh, one of the approaches taken by one of our earlier speakers today, Sander. And this gives kind of a user a clear control over where those intelligence actions are. You can respond to events besides a task completing, but what ends up happening when you create some of these applications is you quickly come into a mess of different threads doing different things, responding to events from different sources, and that becomes problematic. So what we've tried to do with Colmena is bring some order to that chaos. Uh, we've got a model where we decompose an application into a few different parts. You may see a reflection of how I described a workflow earlier, where I take this application main.py and build in the kind of tools that make it easy to respond to different events from a workflow server and do it in a way that is completely de uh, decoupled from how that workflow operates so that you can configure it to run on different systems using Parcel or other uh, workflow engines capabilities. To put this into kind of greater context, one thing you can do with Parcel is decompose your application into a number of these different types of agents that each respond to different types of events. Uh, for example, the active learning loop that I talked about earlier could be broken down into perhaps six different agents, where I have one on the far left, this score, that's responsible for something very simple. 
when work is uh, available on the HPC or when workers are available on the HPC, submit a new simulation task. I could have one at the other end that simply responds to an inference task completing and uses that to update the queue from which the scorer draws. So by coupling these different kinds of operations together, you can form a complex policy, which we found in some of our previous papers um, can really boost the amount of scientific quality you get out of a workflow that runs on the same amount of resources. Uh, there's more in a paper on that. There's a tutorial that actually goes into um, how to write one of these that I've recorded and put up on YouTube. But um, for the purposes of today, let's talk about kind of what is new that we've been doing in the past year with Colmena and where I want to go in uh, the next year, especially with regards to Parcel. So the first thing that we've been doing over the past year is trying to take these applications um, and turn them into something that the standard computational scientists can use. So I've been talking to Alex Brace about these. I'm very curious to talk to Sander now to get his experience. But the way that we've designed uh, one application for that active learning loop is to kind of follow on Parcel's limb, allow researchers to write their specification for how an application should work in Python, and then once that specification is available, make it very easy to execute on an HPC system. Another application we've been building, and this is one that uh, I want to explore further with the Parcel team, involves coupling a few different kinds of AI together. Here we're designing new materials using a generative AI. So there's a um, agent that does nothing but continually learn how to make better uh, materials over time, and it's persistent over the entire run of this application. It feeds into the larger parts of the workflow, which allows us to kind of express this kind of dynamicism. But one thing I know we want to do with the Parcel team is figure out how we can keep these applications running in mem on a node and return individual results. I see from my timer that I'm around seven minutes. Uh, so I've got a few other complaints that I could say about uh, Parcel. Um, we're looking to find ways of actually kind of programmatically accessing the amount of workers which are available so we can coordinate policies across multiple sites easier. And that wraps up for today. So in short, uh, Colmena lets you build AI plus simulation applications. Over the next year, we're hoping to build out some more applications and learn how to deliver them to users and use that to continue uh, improving Parcel. So I'm only the tip of the iceberg for a lot of these projects, so I have numerous people to thank about it, and I'm eager to take any questions that you might have. Thanks, everybody. Okay, thanks, Logan. Um, anyone in the room have any questions? I you saw you. one slide that said ugly secret, but I could not read the rest of it. Uh, ah, sure. Yeah. I'll leave that one up. Yeah, so the thing that I had to skip over because I was too slow, these multi-site applications, we only run when I'm assured to have resources on both sites at the same time. Because if one could continually run and the tasks that will sit in Parcel will grow stale as a result. More data completes. The only way that Parcel will start up new workers is if a task is in queue. So I put a task in there and I quickly will want to cancel it and put in something else. So that's my uh, kind of complaint about the ugly secret. Does that make sense? I think so. Okay. Yeah, so that... if I had something that would say, tell Parcel to go get me notes and then return an event when those nodes are available so I can submit a task that's up to date and I know will run immediately, that would make all of this a lot cleaner. Makes sense, thanks. Cool. Thanks, Shadu. Okay. Any Zoom questions? Can we use this parcel to also run a TensorFlow model to say drive a car and actively learn while driving? Did you, did so you get the that? Fact of a car running down the street, um, having software that I wrote terrifies me, but <laughs> I'm going to take it out of the loop. So, yeah. So maybe not a car. Um, cause there might be some higher degrees of real time, uh, responses that have to happen that I don't know if Python is the right vehicle for, but, um, the idea here where, um, 
we can use Parcel to respond to things on demand, very much so. Um, we often will get latencies as low as maybe 20 milliseconds between when a task completes, we can act on the result and submit the other one out. So from a human perspective, that's basically instantaneous. From um, a car moving down the road, I don't know if that's the reaction time I want. At least those are my two cents. Does that answer your question? Yes. Thank yes. 